Here's two events making news around the parish. St. Charles Parish government is busy gearing up for the most active part of hurricane season. Emergency preparedness officials recently joined with local National Weather Service meteorologists and officials from the Miami-based National Hurricane Center for an interactive meeting on hurricane preparedness. The message was clear, regardless of the forecast, it only takes one. Even seasons with less than normal tropical activity have caused billions of dollars in damage and many lives lost in the United States alone. Attendees at the 2014 Hurricane Awareness Tour also got a closer look at new forecast tools for the upcoming season, including potential storm surge flooding maps and a five-day tropical weather outlook available at www.hurricanes.gov. We're really excited at the Hurricane Center to be debuting a new experimental graphic on our website this hurricane season. It's the Potential Storm Surge Flooding Graphic, and this will be available on our website whenever a hurricane or even tropical storm watch is issued for your area, and it will show how far inland from the immediate coast that storm surge flooding could go, and it should show you how high above ground level the floodwaters could get. And it will more clearly show you if you're at risk for storm surge in that situation and give you confidence to follow the evacuation and other instructions from your local officials. The NHC is also benefiting from improvements in the mapping grid used to run the computer storm surge models, allowing more accurate inland flooding predictions. Residents can expect their first look at the new storm surge maps approximately 48 hours before landfall. The maps will show predictions for actual depth of water above ground level in a given area. Officials reiterated the fact that a storm's direction of approach, size, speed, and other parameters have a large effect on actual impacts. The traditional Sophia Simpson categories based on wind speed can be misleading. To learn more about tropical weather threats, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration employs the use of hurricane hunter aircraft and highly skilled pilots who fly in the storms to collect meteorological data. Parish officials were also able to tour one of these planes at the New Orleans Lakefront Airport. The next day, emergency preparedness staff hosted a tabletop hurricane exercise at the St. Charles Parish Emergency Operations Center. The exercise allowed parish department heads to talk through a hurricane scenario to identify strengths, weaknesses, and needs with regard to response. An important thing to impart to people uh, in your organizations is to have their personal plans ready. You know, where the families would go, how the families would get there, and be prepared to stay for a long period of time to have a serious event. The hypothetical Hurricane Ronald took aim at St. Charles Parish and made landfall in Texas, but still caused heavy damage here. Parish employees talked about timing for preparedness activities, such as calling for a mandatory evacuation and opening shelters. The group also discussed the complexities of recovery in a widespread flooding scenario. Department of Public Works leadership also talked flood fighting and their readiness for both tropical events and regular downpours. The pumps in St. Charles Parish are on a regular maintenance program. We uh, maintain them twice a week, we operate them twice a week, we take very good care of them. We don't do anything special for any particular event because we're always prepared. Out of our 50 plus pump stations, we have a large majority of the larger pump stations that operate on a telemetry system as well as a backup mechanical system that actually operates the pumps. When the water comes up, the pumps come on. When the water goes down, the pumps go off. And we can monitor that from our emergency operations center as well as many centers uh, within the parish. For more information on how you can get prepared for hurricane season, visit www.stcharlesparish-la.gov slash hurricane.